Let's uh, reflect on Dennis Healy there in his heyday with his eyebrows. Uh, 1917 to 2015, extraordinary period of time. And as we've been hearing the tributes to Beachmaster at, at Anzio in the Second World War. It's been fascinating reading uh, the tributes and uh, some of the obituaries that have appeared um, because he, you had quite, sort of gotten Dennis Healy. Um, and looking back at that track record in terms of his political life, but also his life before politics has just been... You know, you well, think they the don't. They don't. Party they, at one they, stage, absolutely, yeah. but, but because he opposed um, Hitler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you do, they don't make them like that anymore. I think he makes the present bunch look the, sort of. Well, this is millions. the interesting thing because, of course, uh, apart from his uh, political weight, you know, he really took on uh, the left wing of the party. Uh, and all the economic difficulty, he was immediately recognisable as a character. I mean, Mike Yarwood, if you remember The Impressionist, and Silly Billy. Which he never uttered. Which he never uttered. <laughs> uh, nor did he apparently utter, I'm going to tax him to the no, pipsqueak. No, that's true. I didn't realise that till today. But I he, he was immediately recognisable to the general public. And as you say, how many of the modern generation of polit politicians are in that mind? I think there was something about Dennis as well, which is rare in a politician, where he appeals to supporters of the other party, whether you agree this policies or not he was a likable character yeah. um, I mean you know there'll be, there'll be conservatives who don't like Jeremy Corbyn what he stands for or mm. who he is and there will be Labour supporters who think the same about David Cameron with with uh, Dennis Healy he's a nice man I met him for the first time he's before my time uh, on a uh, on the beach at either Brighton or Blackpool at a yeah, party yeah. conference and I couldn't resist going up and saying hello to him and he walked along the beach for about 15 minutes with me Chessy. chatting away a really really nice did man. you ever hear him play the piano out of tune like Les Dawson <laughs> he did it with he came into BBC Radio Sussex and, did and it, it's just wonderful the only chance that wonderful. ever to appeared on Morecambe and Wise yes so, apparently and he was mentioned <laughs> in dispatches the other thing I think we were talking about before is the parallel with the Labour Party now today yeah. yes he was uh, he fought the, the leader in 1980 yeah. after James Callan lost to Margaret Thatcher and he took on Michael Foote lost to the left wing and to the left winger yeah. he was the moderate and the Labour were out of power for 18 years Did you know he called Margaret Thatcher Rhoda the rhinoceros or Rhoda the rhino I didn't know that today and I bet Charles Moore hasn't got that in his <laughs> book come up with saying that it was like being savaged by a dead, oh, dead sheep she, that's Jeffrey in Howe, relation to Jeffrey yeah. Howe when yeah. he attacked yeah. so a, a man of great sound yeah. bites before the word sound bite was invented. invented great tributes being uh, paid to him today uh, still to come, Trekkie Alex Salmon begs BA to beam him up. Is that a crossword clue? No, it's a headline coming up in a moment. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's head to the front pages. This I can load in my iPad. Uh, and that's why I'm going to move Dennis Healy centre stage, as he was for decades in British politics. Uh, and we were reflecting earlier, of course, that not just... Uh, a huge Labour figure at a time of great economic problems with the party, but just in terms of a household name. Mike Yarwood used to do impressions with the eyebrows, Silly Billy, and you were reflecting, David, you even made it onto Morecambe and Wise. Morecambe and Wise playing, playing the Wise. piano. Yeah. He was the first Chancellor and the and only, only Chancellor, Chancellor <laughs> ever to appear on Morecambe and Wise. That's throwing the gauntlet down yeah. today, uh, George Osborne, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but I mean, there are cliches, you know, a giant uh, among politicians and uh, the best uh, Prime Minister we never had, but you read some of these obituaries and some of the um, tributes that are, have come, and you think he deserves, he deserves all of that. Yeah. I, I read somewhere that he never actually tried, in his view, to be Prime Minister, so that sort of... Um, being dubbed the best prime minister we never had. He... Well, I mean, he, he sort of—he was—he was James Callaghan's wingman, wasn't he? Really, effectively, and I, th I guess that's the problem. Uncle Jim was such a, an effective leader for Labour, even though he didn't last that long with the um, three-day week, etc. He was very loyal to him as yeah, well, wasn't he? He took on—he took on Ben. Um, I, I, um, there was a quote there that uh, he said, uh, Ben and I are like Torval and Dean. Well, there's the interesting <laughs> parallel, isn't it? He took on the left wing of the party did. and lost. Yeah. Um, so uh, Full circle. Full circle, he, yes. yeah. I wonder what he would have made of what's happened of the, over the past two weeks. And, and a man of great um, di light and shade, different shadows. Part, he, was a, he was a great wit. Yeah. Uh, came out with some fabulous one-liners. Um, he Key wrote, photographer, he, wasn't he? He had a great superb photographer, uh, gallery of photographs. Wrote, wrote some excellent books. In fact, David Cameron's tributes today was talks about Focus, some of the books he wrote, very readable books. 
and uh, and he was a hero in the war. He was mentioned in dispatches. Beach master at Anzio yeah. for the so, landings at Anzio. You know, and yeah. he makes what the, a, perhaps what a the life. current crop look like um, fact, I, I look, you know, sort I look, of minions in comparison. I probably won't be too many of them in, in tomorrow's papers, perhaps in some of the broadsheets, but over the next day or two, there'll be some fabulous uh, oh, bits really worth reading. Yeah, yeah, in, in and, and just remind uh, the, the wonderful phrase about... Um, being savaged by a Jeffrey Howe. Sheep. A Jeffrey dead sheep. Howe, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right, okay, let's move uh, back to the inside pages.